Hello guys, welcome to my channel. This is the 47th tutorial in this course. And in this tutorial, we are going to talk about cookies in PHP. So in this tutorial, we're going to check out how we can set cookies. And uh, you know, cookies are nuggets of information that you would want to keep at the client end. And uh, by the client end, I mean uh, the web browser of uh, you know people who are accessing your website. So you know, in PHP, we we set cookies using the set cookie function and uh, this function takes three arguments the first one is the name uh, for the cookie the second one is the value that the cookie is going to hold and uh, the third argument this is one is actually optional you know uh, it's the time uh, for which you want the cookie to be active right so if you don't provide this argument then by default the cookie stays active as long as uh, you know the browser stays open and uh, you know when the user would uh, close the browser window then uh, the cookie would automatically expire but uh, if you want let's say the cookie to be with the browser for uh, a week then uh, you know you could set the expire value in uh, you know the way i have set it on line number nine here so anyway i want to create a cookie that has the name message and it has the value have a nice day so that's why you know i have created a variable on line, line number seven i've given it the value message and uh, another variable on line number eight this one is going to take the string value have a nice day and then on line number nine i have created a variable called expire and uh, this variable is going to uh, you know start with a base value that's going to be returned by the time function so the time function in php returns the number of seconds that have passed uh, between 1st january 1970 uh, you know uh, gmt uh, zero hours and uh, you know the current moment and uh, that time instant is uh, known as unix epo and uh, you know let's say you want to start with that as a reference because see the third argument which is expire has to be provided in uh, seconds right you can't mention simply that you want the cookie to be active for like you know 50 minutes or two hours or whatever you have to provide the value in seconds and you have to provide the value you know i mean you have to provide a timestamp value and by that i mean you know the number of seconds that have elapsed uh, you know since january 1 1970 to the time uh, you know till which you want the cookie to be active so you start with time and then you add to it you know this value so if suppose you want the cookie to be active for a week you first start with 60 seconds multiply that with 60 you know the number of minutes in an hour so you get 3600 is the number of seconds in one hour you multiply that with 24 you get number of seconds in a day right because there are 24 hours in a day and you multiply that with seven number of days in a week to get number of seconds in a week right so that's how i have arrived at the value for uh, you know the variable expire and uh, now i'll save this file i'll uh, go to the browser and i'll look for cookies.php when i press the enter key i don't see any message in my browser but uh, i can find out whether my cookie was set or not and i'm using google chrome and uh, you know you could just google for uh, steps you know if you're using some other browser then you could use you know just google for steps in which you can find out uh, where your cookies have been stored and you know how you can check out the values for the cookies um, in google chrome you have to go to settings right and uh, then i'll scroll down and uh, you know click on show advanced settings and i'll scroll down a bit and click on content settings right and uh, as soon as i click on that the content settings menu opens up and uh, when i click on all cookies and site data now i would see a list of all the cookies uh, that have been set by you know all these websites so in here in the search box i'm going to type in localhost right and uh, i see that localhost site has set three cookies uh, you know with the browser and one of the three cookies is message so this is the one that we've just set using our script and when i click on this i see the name of the cookie which is message i see the content of the cookie which is the value that we provided so this is have a nice day and uh, then i also see the time when this cookie was created so it was created on september 7 uh sunday at 4 56 a.m and i also see the time when this cookie is going to expire so it's going to expire on 14 september exactly a week later at 4 56 a.m so it's going to you know expire exactly a week later and i also have the option of removing this cookie if i want but if i don't want that then you know if you don't want to remove it then you can just let it be 
so that's how you set cookies in the next tutorial we're going to see how we can you know obtain cookie values back and you know do some stuff with it so i hope you guys had fun watching this tutorial you may subscribe to my channel if you haven't already i'm going to see you in the next video till then take care